Hi everybody, I'm Drew Glassbrenner, KO4MA. Um, we're going to go quickly through some satellites uh, that are working and what's on the horizon coming uh, soon. I heard a couple of comments in the booth the other day, well you guys don't have any satellites anymore, there's nothing up there to work, and it couldn't be further from the truth. Right now, if you wanted to go out and make a two-way contact through a satellite this week, or today, uh, we have AO7, which operates in uh, mode A and mode B, two meters up, 10 meters down, or 70 centimeters up, two meters down. While it's uh, in continuous illumination, those alternate every 24 hours. Right now, we're in an eclipse cycle, so it's primarily mode B. It's a little bit random, but favors mode B. Uh, FO29 is a 2 meters up, 70 centimeters down transponder, CW and sideband. Uh, it's available 24 hours a day, stays in the same mode, very easy to work. VO52 is a, a mode B, 70 centimeters up, 2 meters down, CW and sideband, works great. It's very low uh, orbit, um, uh, so it's very loud, easy to hear. Uh, AO73, FunCube 1, which Howard just spoke about. Uh, nights and weekends, it's kind of like a second job. Uh, you can, uh, <laughs> whenever the satellite is not illuminated, uh, the, uh, the footprint of the sun on the earth doesn't touch the footprint of the satellite, the transponder's on, plus on the weekends. Uh, and then there's SO50, which is our, uh, our uh, FM repeater in the sky, two meters up, 70 centimeters down, available 24 seven. So right there are five satellites that you can go out and work today. That's plenty to keep one busy on the weekends. I wanted to talk about some other satellites that have been launched just recently or are about to be launched. Uh, is Nick Pugh in, in here? Good, he won't correct me if I get anything wrong on this one. Uh, Cape 2 LO75 was launched by the Lu University of uh, Louisiana at Lafayette. It's a 1U CubeSat, launched uh, just a few days before FunCube on a different launch. Uh, it's got uh, 1200 pod yeah, excuse me, 1200 baud packet, has a digitalker, and you can also send it a packet and it will turn around and speak it back to you over the air. If you've heard some weird voices on 825 lately, that's this, 145.825. It operates, uh, one of the frequencies is on the, uh, the standard space APRS frequency. I've gotten a couple emails, what is this? So that's uh, LO75. And they also have uh, some open commands that you can send to the satellite and make it do different things. Really pretty neat. FunCube 1, which Howard covered uh, very well. Delphi Next, which was a 3U CubeSat, launched uh, at the same time as FunCube. Uh, had a, uh, has a 40 kilohertz uh, Mode B transponder on it. Unfortunately, the first couple of times they tried it, it did not work. So it's kind of up in the air if that'll be recovered. Also has an S-band downlink on it that uh, they're currently testing. So if you have any old S-band gear around from the AO40 or AO51 days, they're looking for you to help hear their satellite when it comes on. Triton 1 from ISIS is a 3U uh, CubeSat that was launched with FunCube. Uh, it, they're testing some uh, um, AIS, which is a, a, a ship location service. When they're done, they plan on taking the radios on board the satellite and using them as an FM up double sideband down repeater like we did with AO16 towards the end of its life. It's in orbit right now, but not in that mode just yet. Cubebug 2, I haven't heard much about this one since it was launched, but uh, when they're done with the, uh, the experiments on board, they're planning on opening it up as a digipeter and also uh, to be able to download some of the experiment data from on board the satellite. Lithuania Sat-1, uh, it's currently in orbit. It was deployed from the ISS. Right now, this weekend, they have activated the, the FM repeater on board, two meters up, 70 centimeters down. It's about the same signal strength as SO50. Uh, I haven't heard it yet myself, but I plan on listening for it tonight and tomorrow. Uh, there's also a lot of other neat stuff. If you plan on working this one, you better do it quick because it's coming down pretty soon, uh, being in a fairly low orbit. Uh, UQ1 with FunCube2, which Howard spoke about, looking at uh, 
Last I heard was June 19th on the launch on a Soyuz. You look confused. <laughs> uh, so uh, we'll have another transponder in orbit uh, as soon as it's up. Howard briefly mentioned the QB-50 uh, satellites. QB-50 is a large uh, research project where they're putting 50 satellites into a very low orbit to uh, uh, map drag and uh, atmospheric physics. Uh, as a precursor to that, they're launching two of the, um, the same type of satellites into a higher orbit. And as part of a uh, quote unquote repayment for use of the amateur bands for their primary mission, they're including a, um, uh, one of them has a FunCube type transponder and the other one has a, a 70 centimeter up two meter down FM repeater. These are due to be launched in June also on a separate rocket, on a Dnieper. Uh, from what I understand, it's going to be about six months after they're uh, in orbit before they'll turn the ham packages on, and then those will run for the rest of the life of the satellite. I'm not even going to pronounce, try to pronounce that. I understand it's the name of a bird in Israel where the, the team is from. Uh, this is a 1U CubeSat that is... Uh, due to be launched on that same Dnieper launch and it has a 145.825 digipeter on it and is also capable of the FM to double sideband uh, repeater. And that comes out of the use of the command radio. Once they're done with it, they can turn it over to a, an analog repeater. KiwiSat is uh, constructed, mostly finished, and from what I understand, the negotiations are underway for a launch, probably on a Dnieper. This, uh, this is a full-size microsat satellite, a big satellite compared to the CubeSats. We'll have a two watt uh, uh, L in UHF up and two meter down transponder. Also uh, a one watt repeater on the same bands and also uh, 9600 baud data. Lapin Ori, this is from AMSAT Indonesia. I haven't heard much update on this lately, but I'm expecting it'll probably go on an Indian launch vehicle with AstroSat sometime this year. And it's supposed to be a low inclination orbit. If you live in Florida like I do, you'll probably be able to work it, but uh, much further north than that, probably not. I uh, have a digipeter and an FM repeater on it. That's good for Indonesia since they lay right at the equator. AMSAT China has a 35 kilogram microsat with a uh, uh, mode B uh, 70 centimeter up, two meter down FM repeater. Uh, supposed to launch this year. Uh, I'm still looking for some updates from the people that are building that. Another FM repeater due to be put up. And CAMSAT has also uh, announced uh, a pair of satellites they're building that they're planning on launching into a thousand kilometer orbit. That's where things start getting a little more interesting. Uh, and these uh, are complementary. The downlinks on one set of transponders corresponds to uplinks on the other set of transponders. So we may be able to do some cross satellite contacts through this. And at a thousand kilometers, once they spread out apart a little bit, that could be really interesting. These are the same guys that built HO68 that uh, is at 1200 kilometers and works so well for a year or so. Lots of other beacons in there, S-band, 10 gigahertz beacons, uh, a 200 kilohertz LS transponder, wow. So that's the end of what I had uh, uh, for that. Uh, I just wanted to show that there are a lot of satellites on the horizon that we're going to be able to work and nobody should ever have the excuse that they couldn't find a satellite that they could work because there's a lot of them out there.